Well, Floyd County is growing so much that county leaders say it needs to expand its city offices and courts. WDRB's Monica Harkins details the first step in purchasing the Chase Building on Spring Street. In a joint meeting of the Floyd County Council and Commission Friday, the group announced it plans to purchase this, the Chase Building on Spring Street, and expand several official office spaces there. The purchase was made possible thanks to some leftover American Rescue Plan funds and revenue from a previous tax. This means there's no extra cost to taxpayers. I think it's huge for us because we have some space constraints. Um, we're a growing county. We've identified the need for more courts in the near future, and the current building just doesn't have enough space. The Chase Building will help house some county offices. There's still renters that will be occupying some space, so Floyd County still needs a separate judicial center to meet its needs. So what happens to this building that's literally already falling apart? A consultant did a review of the judicial center and found asbestos, lead paint, and a cracking foundation to name a few. It could cost $18 million to rehabilitate the current building. A complete remodel would be about 33 million and new construction would be a little more than 35 million dollars. Build exactly what we need for this community for the next 50 plus years. Uh, we're going to have to pay for it. And with regards to that, you know, my preference at the moment would be to have a referendum and let the taxpayers decide whether or not uh, they want to make that investment. There was no decision made on the judicial building right now. The group, group hopes people wishing to weigh in will attend future public meetings. And that hope was a final decision on what to do with the judicial building will be complete by the fall. Monica Harkins, WDRB News.